Okay, in this video we're going to look at a derivative involving the use of the quotient rule. And the quotient rule says if you have a, a fraction and, and you want to take a derivative of that thing, uh, what we do is we take whatever's in the denominator and multiply it by the derivative of the numerator. And again, you could flip the order on these around, right? I mean, you can do f prime times g, that's the same thing. And then we subtract away whatever's in the numerator times the derivative of what's in the denominator. Same thing, you can flip these around. Be very careful though, you have to do, um, you can't, you know, switch the whole terms around, right? You can switch the multiplication involved, and that's equivalent. But don't, you know, you can't do uh, f of x times g prime of x first and then subtract away this part. Um, that part you do have to be careful about, so just a little word of warning there. And then it says we divide uh, over whatever's in the denominator and we square that. No derivative when we do this part. All right, so um, a couple examples here. We'll just do uh, part A first. So we're going to take the derivative here of x squared plus 3x over x plus 4. So alrighty, let me get situated. So let's see if we can't uh, put our formula in this as well. So, okay, so again, what it says is, let's see if we can squeeze everything in here. It says whatever, when we go to take the derivative, so again, what this rule says to me, it says whatever's in the denominator, that's what we write. Well, in our denominator, we have x plus 4, so there it is. Then it says whatever's in the numerator, we take the derivative of that little part. So, okay, I've got to multiply by the derivative of x squared plus 3x. Well, the derivative of x squared, the 2 would come out front and we would take 1 away, so we would get 2x to the first. The derivative of 3x is just positive 3. So there's our g times f prime. And then um, we'll write a little minus sign. And then it says whatever's in the numerator, um, we just put that down. So there's our x squared plus 3x. And then it says whatever's in the denominator, we have to take the derivative of that. Well, in our denominator, we have x plus 4. So uh, the derivative of 1x plus 4 is just going to be 1 plus 0. And then it says whatever's in the denominator, we just square that. So again, we have an x plus 4. So that's what's going to go in our denominator. And now it's just going to be a matter of just simplifying this and, uh, you know, just collecting like terms. So um, in the numerator, if we distribute, x times x would be 2x squared. We would have x times positive 3 or positive 3x. Positive 4 and 2x would give us positive 8x. And then positive 4 and positive 3 would give us positive 12. And then we can subtract. We would have minus x squared minus 3x when we distribute the negative. Again, multiplying by 1 is not going to change anything. The denominator, I would not multiply this out at all. Um, I would just leave it alone. Typically, uh, it's good to have things factored. And if you multiply this out, you're, in a sense, unfactoring it. So um, unless I have a good reason to multiply it out, just I, I just leave it alone. So OK, 2x squared minus x squared uh, is going to give us x squared. Um, so that and that is taken care of. We've got a positive 3x and a negative 3x, so that just cancels. We still do have a positive 8x. Um, and then uh, we're still left with our positive 12. And again, in the denominator, we have our x plus 4 squared. Again, I'm not going to multiply that out. I could even think, does this factor? Um, the numerator even does factor. I mean, you could leave it like this. We could even factor this as x plus, uh, actually, I take that back. No, OK, yes, x plus 2 times x plus 6 all over x plus 4 squared, and that's our derivative. So in a sense, you know, all of these are the derivative. This is the derivative, so is this, this, and this. But it, it illustrates something, I think, also very important about calculus. It's a lot of times not the calculus that bothers people. So, you know, people are fine with this quotient rule and derivatives. A lot of times it's just all the algebra. You know, it seems like there's more, there's going to be more algebra steps than there are calculus steps. So um, just be careful about, you know, just kind of all the uh, the detail work, you know, the collecting like terms, adding and subtracting things properly, and it's certainly easy to make mistakes. I do them all the time, um, but just be aware of it. So, 
Um, all right, that's it. And again, one thing is going to uh, that's going to be important coming up. Um, you will, in general, have to kind of simplify these things down, and ultimately, you'll probably want to be able to. Well, you will want to be able to factor them as well. So, um, when you're practicing things, you know, it never hurts to try to clean it up completely because at some point you'll have to be able to do that.